Hi guys, it's Annie, and wow am I so 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 late today to do my video, but that's okay, you'll see why soon. I had to film the last part of the video first, for reasons that you'll be finding out kind of like more tomorrow than you will be today, but that's okay. So I just finished filming the um, end of the video, and now I'm going to go back to the beginning and say hello. How is everybody today? Happy December 10th. Today is day 10 of the Ultimate Challenge 25 Days of Christmas. We are going to start again with the usual tea unboxing and beauty unboxing and then move on to the DIY that I had a lot of fun with. All right, so we should probably start with the tea. Today is day 10, so we get this super duper 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 adorable candy cane. All right, so today's tea is called Gingerbread Man. It is a black tea, woo, 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 with cinnamon, ginger, cardamom, and apple. Oh, adding apple, what? Adding apple, I am excited. Let's get to steeping this, I'll see you in just a sec. I'm reviewing my tea while we decorate the Christmas tree. Pretty good. Tastes like black tea. You guys, day 10 looks long. Whatever could this mean? What is this? Gimmick. Oh, here we go. Okay, we got, oh my gosh, so it tells you like every step. This is so cute. It like, it's basically like a file that has every step of the way in order to do your nails. Guys, I love this. It's so cute. I'll use it next time I do my nails. So I got this DIY from the blog called Brended. It is a rosemary chamomile detox bath salts recipe. So the, okay, so for this recipe, we need two cups of Epsom salt, a half a cup of baking soda, 10 drops of rosemary essential oil, Two chamomile tea bags, though I only have loose leaves, so I'm gonna do probably about two or three tablespoons of chamomile. And a quarter cup of dried rosemary. You have no idea how happy I am that we saved this. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so we want two cups of Epsom salts. First cup. <laughs> One cup. Bloop. All right. Two cups of Epsom salts. Next says to mix the rosemary essential oil into the Epsom salts. All right, everybody. This is the first time that we are going to be doing rosemary. Ooh, it smells so nice. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, oh, I think I got 11 in there. Oh my gosh, that's very potent. Wow, that is strong. Wow, the strong, guys. Okay, so now we are going to crush, crush rosemary into fine pieces and pour into the Epsom salts with the contents of the chamomile tea. So we need half, uh, sorry, a quarter cup of rosemary. All right, rosemary. Welcome back into my life. I feel like it's been forever since I've used you. It's about a quarter cup. Guys, this smells really good because the rosemary essential oil is actually very sweet smelling. It's not like this rosemary that I'm crushing. It's like these almost have two different scents to them, which is pretty cool. Ignore my pink fingers. You're gonna see why they're pink tomorrow. And give it a mix. All right, next step is chamomile. So I'm gonna do probably about a quarter cup of chamomile too. Might as well just like evenly distribute it, right? Oh my gosh, this literally looks the way that snow looks like when it's starting to melt or when, you, when you're like a child and you're digging through the snow and you dig too deep and you hit the ground. That's what this looks like to me. <laughs> so 
So the last thing that we need to add is the baking soda. And we're all set. So we use half a cup. And here you have it. A little chunky still. So I definitely have to mix this up still more, but this is what it looks like. It literally looks like the way snow looks when it's underneath the tree, which is why I'm even more excited that I'm doing it now because bring on the snow. Okay, I'm gonna put this in a mason jar or something and we're gonna come back. All right, so this is now what it looks like now that I've finished. It's a little bit orange in color, probably from the chamomile that has been steeping. Guys, I'm pretty excited. We'll see you when I'm all done. Guys, I just finished. I didn't really think about this, but um, look at all the tea that's all over the tub now. Not really sure what I'm gonna do. Kinda messy. Does everybody like our Christmas tree? I think it's adorable. We decided that we were just gonna call it the cute Christmas tree. We were originally gonna call it Lorelei, but we actually just named our car Lorelei. So that's not happening. Well, I should probably tell you guys how the bath went. It was a bath. Well, very relaxing. It was interesting to say the least because of the fact that there was just like pieces of tea. When I got out of the tub, I was covered in like soaking wet flowers and like and the now reconstituted or like wet, dried rosemary. It was kind of funny bringing up the book because doesn't Annie always bring up the book if something interesting happens? Like I've said in my, um, in my activated charcoal face mask DIY, um, I was using the essential guide to aromatherapy and vibrational healing to get my information on the essential oils. So again, when I found that this detox bath had the rosemary essential oil, I got my essential oil information from this book. Again, great book. I suggest everybody should buy it because it taught me a lot, really. So let's go through all the health benefits of this detox bath, shall we? The idea of a detox bath is that the toxins that are in your body get pulled out in the bath that then contains these detoxifying ingredients. It's good for like stressed students like me and then people who have skin conditions, which is why I find this to be such a good recipe for me to be giving during Christmas time because of the fact that a lot of my friends are um, are stressed <laughs> and have lots of skin conditions. We're a very interesting group. Let's begin with the rosemary essential oil. Rosemary essential oil also help, helps to open airways. That's why, if you remember me like saying when I was um, making the DIY, making the recipe, I was like, wow, like my sinuses just got like super clear because it's such like a strong um, essential oil that just like opens up your airway and helps you like breathe better, which is awesome because. Again, as you might have known from like my past videos, I have been sick recently until like today. This really helped me. Like taking this bath today just really, really helped me. So there's also chamomile. Chamomile is one of those that you're supposed to have, um, that you're supposed to drink when you're really stressed. It has a lot of like relaxing agents. It just has like anxiety reducing qualities. So calms the skin which is great. Like that's why a lot of people say it's really good for like acne and everything. I'm really happy because I got this horrendous burn at work for like, it's the first burn I've gotten at work in months. The main ingredient is Epsom salt. Epsom salt. It's really funny, I always say Epsom salt, it's Epsom salts. So, um, it's just kind of like the, the main ingredient and it's good for like treating anxiety and cramps skin infections, it's just kind of like one of those ingredients that's just like overall helps with everything, which is perfect and just what I needed. So the last ingredient that we added was baking soda. I was very happy when I saw because it really helps with absorbing everything that we put into the bath during the detox process, which is probably another reason why baking soda is found a lot in detox recipes. It also soothes irritated skin, like my burn, and live, leaves your skin feeling silky smooth. And I have to be honest with you, like at least just touching right here, I'm silky smooth. But this could also be because of my mask that I did yesterday. Have you guys seen that video yet? If you haven't, 
go back and watch my face mask video because my skin is so soft right now. Oh my god. Yes. Okay. So overall, would I do this again? Absolutely. It was so easy. It probably took me about 10 minutes and that's only because I was using such like old Epsom salts that I had to scrape them up and I didn't know what I was doing at all. I can easily make this bigger batches. You guys can even easily make this bigger batches so that you can do it as holiday gifts. Just know that like for one bath, you need about two and a half cups. My recipe didn't make two and a half cups. It made like a little bit over two, but not quite two and a half. Even so, I used it in my entire bath and it was fine. So you would probably be making it in about two cup increments, which is fine. I definitely recommend making this as a Christmas gift if you're like super into the making homemade gifts. It was so easy, really fun, and it smelled really good. And the way that it looked literally reminded me of like my childhood. Like you know when you're a kid and you're digging in the snow and you get too far down to the ground and you like start seeing pine needles and grass show up and you're like, oh yuck. That's what it looked like and I know that's like really upsetting but it was also really funny because it smelled so nice and it like just reminded me of my childhood and what I'm gonna be doing when it hopefully snows Monday. I'm definitely gonna make it again and one of my friends is most likely like 80% sure they're gonna get it as a gift as well. So I just thought I'd also take a moment to stop and look back at the last 10 days. This has been probably one of the most challenging things I've ever done and I could not be having more fun. And a lot of it is coming from the uh, motivation I'm getting from like talking about this with my friends and talking about it with my family and like showing my boyfriend. And I just wanna say thank you so much to everybody who is supporting me in doing this challenge. And anyways, that's all that I have for you tonight. It is now 9.40, so I should probably get to editing this video so you can watch it. Make sure to like this video and comment down below. Also, feel free to subscribe to my video so you can watch the rest of the 25 day challenge and other videos that I have to come. I hope you have a great evening and I will be seeing you tomorrow for a very exciting DIY. Bye guys. Taste no apple, but definitely get a lot of the spices. You guys want to try some tea? No. Tell me what you think. <laughs> no. Jake? I'm busy. Okay, guess I'm alone on this one. Daddy, want to try some tea?